In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to install OpenLink's Single Tier Express Edition drivers for Oracle. I'll be working on a Mac OS X client operating system. Before I begin the install, I do want to point out that it's a good idea to have your evaluation or permanent license key somewhere on your Mac system. This will enable you to use our installer's browse feature to pick up and implement the license during the install process. This renders your driver ready for use as soon as the install completes. If you choose to obtain a license post-installation, use of the product will be delayed until that license is in place. That said, let's begin the install procedure. We're going to click the disk image file that contains the product installer. That, it, that disk image is the mul6eora.dmg file on my desktop. This DMG produces a meta package or .mpkg file. We want to double click that. A splash screen and warning dialog will come up. Click the continue button on both elements in the installer. So I can click continue here and again down here. We do recommend that you read the README that appears in all of our product installers, then click Continue. Likewise, do read over the terms of the software license agreement, then click Continue. Provided that you do agree with the terms of the license agreement, click the Agree button. Select the destination for your single tier light edition driver. Click continue. You can use this change install location button to change the install directory from the default. We recommend that you just go with those defaults. Click the install button. Installation does require administrative privileges on the box, so you do want to type in your administrative username and password. Click OK. Give the product a moment to install. The installation is complete. We're going to close out of the installer. Note that you should see a dialog that prompts for a license file. Occasionally, this dialog can pop under something, so if you don't see it, just close or close out or minimize some of the other windows that are open. Here it is. This is the license dialog that I was talking about. Note that it does provide you with two options. If you do not have a permanent or evaluation license key, you can click the try or buy license. That's going to bring you to OpenLink's homepage where you can obtain the license that you want and need to continue to use the product. The Use Existing License button allows you to browse for a license somewhere on your Mac OS X client host. If you're not familiar with the naming conventions of OpenLink's licenses, the dialog actually provides you with the name of the license that it's looking for. Here it's looking for ee underscore aura underscore lt dot lic. And as you see, I do have this license file over here right on my desktop. So I'm going to use the Use Existing License button to browse for that license. Here I just drill down into my desktop folder, which is in Users, Natristica Tom, Desktop. There's the license. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to choose it. At this point, the product is installed, licensed, and ready for use. This concludes this lesson.